what is up you guys it's y'all favorite tarot reader and i am back with another read okay honey period 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 dot. okay this is going to be a reading for my libras today um I am taking personal readings. You can cash at me at Linda Sign Caprice Cooks. You can also email me or Apple Pay me at CapriceCooks or iCloud.com. I work on energy. Energy is fluid. So this could be about you. This could be about the person that you're thinking about or anybody that's thinking about you. This could also be about the past, the present, or the future. Okay? But somehow it's affecting you right now. Spirit guys, it's in a master. So family, twin flame family, please be here with me at this time, helping me receive a message to deliver to the collective of my Libras. Um, you could have this in your chart. You could have this um for somebody that you're cross watching for. You could be dealing with somebody with the inner chart. Okay, this is going to be a reading for my Libras, and y'all could definitely be dealing with the Aries because I filmed this already, and um. It was talking about the Hermit card and Hermit energy, and then y'all did have the Aries card pop out, okay? So, this is going to be a message for my Libras. Libras. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well. I just kind of feel like for y'all, this is y'all being very mysterious, kind of like not talking to people, kind of like healing yourself. I feel like y'all are spending a lot of time daydreaming. Um, I'm also hearing like escapist energy, like maybe y'all are drinking a lot and smoking a lot. It's kind of like trying to escape these feelings. This could also just be needing to escape from being around people. Um, you also have the Cancer card and the Scorpio card at the bottom of the deck. These are all water signs. The Scorpio, Cancer, and the Pisces card popped out. So you could really be in your feelings. You could really be in your feelings, um, Libra. You could be dealing with three different people. This could be a mother, sister, brother. This could be an uncle, cousin, daddy. Um, this could be two bosses and an employee. This could be a girlfriend, boyfriend, and a third party. Like, this this could be anything. But for my Libras, I feel like you've been spending a lot of time sleeping. Um, you could be depressed. Oh, you could be depressed. That's why so much water energy. I feel like you're spending a lot of time in your feelings. 20s, we thank you for the masters. Because some situation in your life is very complex. And if you look at this, this is like an alien spaceship. I feel like I'm hearing E.T. Home, phone, E.T. Like, what is it? 613, 6410, a completion. You want to go home. Oh, you want to go home. You want to go to where your home is. You miss home. Okay, so a lot of y'all are dreaming about y'all star family. A lot of y'all are dreaming about y'all ancestors. A lot of y'all are meeting new ancestors during this new full moon in Sag. And, um... I kind of feel like it's it's complex because a lot of y'all are coming into y'all spirituality and a lot of y'all are kind of just now realizing that y'all have gifts. 303, thank you, Ascended Masters. If you already have gifts, Libra, I kind of feel like um, you're tapping more into some gifts that you didn't even know you had. I feel like you are very protected at this time for my Libras. God got y'all like this. Y'all in Cancers, God got y'all like this. It's kind of like everybody see y'all shining right now. So the, the energy is very heightened. And God is making sure that his children are protected. <laughs> 330, thank you, Ascended Masters. Okay. Can I get a message from my Libras? Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is a wounded warrior. This is somebody like tired of going through the same thing over and over again. And it popped out. Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I kind of feel like you could be dealing with the Leo. Or this could just be taking place in Sagittarius season. You do have the lover. Oh, you got the lovers. You got the lovers. We've been getting the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We've been getting that card in every single reading. This is God literally being generous. Our blessings are coming into fruition. Like, our blessings are being given to us, okay? But back to what I was saying, Libra. So, with this lovers card here, this Pisces person... The person who could be mysterious, the person who isn't talking to you, the person you don't know a lot about could be your twin or could be a soulmate of yours. Um, this is my soulmate card because I feel like this is an angel guiding y'all. So this is a twin. This is a twin flame breeding probably. So if you're in the collective of Libras, um, you could definitely be having a twin flame. Um, anyway, so with this five of swords, I feel like you're in some type of mental conflict, some type of... Um, healing yourself energy i also kind of feel like this is you taking all the swords out of your back 
from people who have hurt you. This is you no longer being in the clouds about people and them not being honest, five, five, they kissing the master. You could be going through a tower moment, a mini depression. This tower moment is a spiritual depression. This is not normal depression. I feel like this is just you coming into an awakening and realizing your gifts, realizing who the fuck you are. Okay, this is like literally like, hold up. I wake up one day and I realize I ain't got no motherfucking money because I've been giving it away. Oh, no, baby, that don't work. <laughs> uh-uh. I realized I woke up one day and I said, what? I'm only getting paid $16 an hour. Says who? And I'm doing all this damn hard work. It's kind of like everything that's coming to your mind, you realizing like, the fuck, like, how have I been putting up with this? How have I been doing this? Like, how have I been living like this? And I'm not even happy. Nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like, this not even my wish fulfillment. I'm not even getting no joy out of this. I'm just giving to other people. And I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I'm stressed the hell out. I need somebody to give to me. Yeah, it's the pinnacles. Like, this is God giving you something now. 601, 7, thank you for sending masters. This is divine guidance. This is God literally coming in and telling you like, and I just got a message. Hold on. I just want to check it to see what it say. It says if your child hasn't received their annual influenza vaccine. So don't get your kid these vaccines. It's a new beginning. Do not go into 2020 getting your kid these crazy vaccines, allowing the, the big pharma to put this motherfucking sickly ass medicine into your child. Okay. I needed to get that out there. Um, 630 ascended masters thank you ascended masters okay so four of wands this is a kinship a, a kindred relationship between two soulmates walking through the bridge of marriage this is love this is a commitment okay with the six of cups with somebody from your past life souls this is somebody from your soul tribe i feel like y'all had egyptian ties because this to me this i never seen this this car like this before but to me this queen of wands is aries leo sagittarius i have aries in my chart this woman is like an Egyptian goddess. And she has this cat at the bottom, like sitting at her feet, protecting her. Didn't I say get y'all protection up? I don't know if I said it in this video. I don't even remember. I feel like I switched. But, um, um, but for real, like, I don't know. I don't know. What I, but, okay, so with the Six of Cups, this Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, 22, thank you, listening, Masters. I kind of feel like th this is you, like, nurturing your child. This is you nurturing your inner child. This is you going back to past life. This is you in your dream scene. I don't know why, y'all, but this looks like Martin Luther King house. Do this not look like Martin Luther King house? I don't know why. Maybe somebody kid is getting a history lesson about Martin Luther King right now. But also, I just feel like this is you going back to your roots. So if you are melanated, even if you're not, you can have melanated roots. I feel like we all come from a melanated guy. We all come from a black woman. Okay, period. So back to what the fuck I was saying. Y'all walking through the motherfucking the the bridge of fucking holy matrimony, but the all the while that you got all of this on your mind, Libra. I feel like you still hurt by the fact that you don't got this. So you could be trying to manifest this. You could be trying to manifest this for yourself. But I feel like with this nine of wands, your past relationships don't hurt the fuck out of you. Yeah, this death card here, but death was in reverse. So I feel like you're taking a long time. Um, staying in this mental conflict, thinking about this Queen of Cups, this Cancer Scorpio Pisces, this could actually be you. Just you so in your feelings, you so in your emotions that you're not able to see that the things that you put a death to, it was not a bad thing. It was not like, oh my God, I'm so sad. Like, I lost out on a person. I feel like you always think that you're losing out on something when you lose people or, or when you when you lose. I'm going to dread my hair up, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and lock it in, lock it up be locked in be one with myself okay but anyway i feel like this is kind of like y'all like grieving grief mm, that's what's happening y'all are grieving everybody that y'all cut out period and i feel like it's okay to do so like with this queen of cups i feel like you're very much if you're a male i feel like you're very much in a feminine energy you're balancing out your masculine and feminine energies like you're tapping into both you're realizing that it's okay to feel feelings like it's okay to allow yourself to have these feelings you know, I feel like it could be overburdening you that you let your feelings sit here and bubble up in 903 to the masters. You let your feelings sit here and bubble up to the point where you feel like you can slowly killing them slowly with this words, killing them softly with this words, and in my whole life, 
with this word strumming his i don't know somebody could be playing a guitar or something like that i'm getting a call right now too it's 321 33 thank you for sending masters this is justice coming in this is this is you're getting a call hey i'm gonna call you right back I'm calling you right back. Okay, but with this justice card here and this temperance card here, I feel like you're finally getting your justice. Like, once you finally heal and you've been purging and you purge all of that stuff out of letting go of these people who no longer serve you, these people who don't have your best interests at heart, these people who don't have your greatest good, or none of that who aren't thinking about you in the process of hurting you and stuff like that, whoever you're cutting off, I feel like, yes, you're healing from it, but you're also, like, you, like, fuck it. Like, it's kind of just like, mm, okay, I was hurt for as long as I'm going to be hurt. Now I'm kind of like, eh, all right. <laughs> I guess my life ain't that different without it. Like, um, am I tripping? I swear I... I don't know what just happened. I felt like I was real life tripping, tripping. Like, I don't know. It's like my mind went somewhere else. Like, okay, so, oh, 11 22. Oh, Libras. Y'all could be daydreaming about love, about a commitment, about an engagement. Oh my God, you and your girlfriend could have broke up. Or you and your boyfriend could have broke up. And it was like, okay, you thought you was going to have to put a depth to this relationship. You thought that it, there was no heal in this connection. And then they came back in all hot and steamy. Like, y'all could be watching Nick Avocado together. Um, or you could watch, like, people eating or mukbangs or something like that. Or you could do mukbangs. I don't know. But I kind of feel like I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing that. 622. So that's for somebody. Like, watching TV while y'all eat. Oh, this person watches. This person misses watching you while you eat. Wait, misses watching you while you eat. They just always watching you. They always in your space. Like, ten of swords, and they feel like you didn't end it this. They feel like you didn't end it things with this Cancer Scorpio or Pisces person. It fell on the six of cups with this ten. Oh, my God. But with the four of wands and the six of cups, four plus six equals ten. So, mm. Maybe you maybe you, you ain't going to take this person back. Maybe if this is an ex coming back, maybe you're not going to take them back. I'm also kind of seeing this as you're not really as focused on love as you think you are. Like, maybe you're manifesting love, but honestly, I don't think you're prepared for the love that you're manifesting. It's like you're constantly wanting people to give you love, but I think right now you're needing to love on yourself. I feel like in the past, you were so used to giving your love that right now to whoever this person is, you may not even be giving your love to them. You could be holding back. You could be, like, deflecting. You could be, like, literally, like not trying to give them your love on purpose it's kind of like i'm hearing like internal conflict like you're battling yourself because you want to give this person your love but you're deciding not to like you're holding back from it this queen of cups is kind of like i'm not going to give you my love oh potentially because this person put a death to the relationship like maybe this person broke up with you and now they're trying to get back with you and you're just like no <laughs> like no 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 as much as you this this you love this person though like this is something i low-key feel like you've been praying for you've been manifesting this person to come back into your life and as soon as they do i feel like you reject them or maybe by you constantly rejecting this person this person is feeling so rejected that they like fuck her i don't even want her no more fuck her it's kind of just like either way it go you're gonna get your justice but i feel like with this ten of swords i gotta clarify this why is this ten of swords here endings to new beginnings so until until there's an ending to be had with juggling you got the two of you got the two of pentacles and the two of wands both at the bottom of the deck with the high priestess so this is the decision that this woman is kind of like nigga you got to make this decision and you got to tell me about it as the source okay so i'm hearing it so whoever this person is, whoever you are in this story, 33, thank you, Ascendant Masters, you got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. You want a new beginning with this person, but the reason that you've put an ending to it is because you have boundaries. Because this person was sitting here juggling. 
And I feel like this person is not juggling anymore because we already got the Ten of Swords. But at the same time, they haven't came forward to you and been like, look, Caprice, I'm done. Like, I'm like, like, girl, it's done. Like, boy, it's done. Like, it's done. I feel like they're just kind of waiting around trying to see, like, I don't know what they twiddling their thumbs. They on their phone. Look, they on their phone watching you and sitting here just like being irritated like doing with like i don't know what the fuck they doing it's just kind of like what are you doing like what are you doing like this person is stalling 15 15 6 6 this person is literally stalling like they looking afar like they looking around and shit they just like i feel like this person is chilling to be honest this person is chilling it's just kind of like they like one person is super emotional and the other person is just kind of like I'm on my phone. Like I'm I'm putting myself out there. I'm on YouTube or something. Like I'm I'm posting. I'm looking sexy. Like I just heard eyelashes. Or something. But somebody trying to look real cute. Somebody trying to get cute. Somebody trying to attract somebody attention. Somebody trying to be seen. Somebody mad. Okay. I don't know how I just picked up on some, some what the hell? Somebody mad at you for looking good or posting a lot. They just kinda like stop posting so much. Like stop like stop posting on facebook like i feel like somebody feels like you're trying to be seen but i don't even think you're trying to be seen i literally think god is just kind of like shining their light on you like look at this in all of the pictures of god's hands all your aces son 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 god is kind of just shining light on you like there you go boom blessings bloom booms i said bloom so you could be blossoming you could be like a flower like i feel like it's kind of like a lot of people didn't expect i just flipped this card over this is queen of cups but a lot of people didn't expect that from you a lot of people didn't expect you to be successful a lot of people didn't expect you to i feel like with this with this queen of cups a lot of men felt like or a lot of women felt like oh she a hoe he a hoe she a hoe they a hoe not realizing that I think that you were just like emotionally serving yourself. So to other people, it could have seemed like, oh, I'm getting over on her. Or, oh, I'm doing something bogus to her. Or, oh, I'm just finna fuck her and leave. Whole time, this queen of cups is very emotional. She like, nigga, you think you finna have me in my feelings. I'm in my feelings, but I ain't in my feelings about what you think I'm in my feelings about. I'm in my feelings because I felt like I had to, I had to learn from you. And I'm appreciative of the fact that I did learn from you. But the whole time, a nigga would be like, oh, yeah, I, I fucked that bitch and then I left her. So, it's a, it, it could be a lot of your exes, like, gossiping about you or a lot of people or a lot of women who are mad that feel like you're a hoe or, like, you know, a lot of people are just negatively talking about you. And I feel like you're putting a death to all that shit. You, you standing in your truth. You're like, bitch, I'm in a whole relationship. What are you talking about? <laughs> Everybody thought you been single this whole time. Whole time, you got a nigga on your ass. Like, baby... They don't even know we together. Y'all don't even know we together. Like, y'all just sitting here talking shit, like, thinking something it ain't what it is. And whole time, like, I'm whole booed up. Like, somebody booed up. <laughs> somebody booed up. Somebody getting booed up. Or something like that. Anyways, I hope this reading was good for y'all, Libras. I am taking personal readings. You can cash at me at Money Sign Caprice Clicks. You can also email me or Apple Pay me at CaprisClicks at iCloud.com, y'all. All right, I'm out of here.